Hey guys, it's Catherine, and I wanted to do a quick update video about GoodNotes 5. Um, unfortunately, several people are experiencing bugs at the moment, so I have briefly switched back to GoodNotes 4, and I just kind of wanted to talk about that for a minute, because um, I've heard of several different bugs. I didn't have too many, but I just got kind of paranoid that I might lose all of my work, so I switched back over to 4 until they can get the bugs worked out. I think GoodNotes 5 is going to be great once they get everything worked out. Um, it's pretty much to be expected with a new release of any app that there's gonna be some problems, you know, and then over time they get those problems corrected and then it's a great app. I'm sure GoodNotes 4 wasn't perfect when it first came out too. Um, I can't say for sure because I didn't use it when it first came out, but downloading new apps that are like seriously brand new. Um, when I downloaded it, it, I downloaded it the same day that it came out and anybody that has downloaded it recently, most of you know that it's been out for less than a week, so it's still very new. They've already released one update, which unfortunately didn't really solve many of the bugs, so um, hopefully they will be releasing more updates soon. I'm sure the people that work at GoodNotes are very hard at work trying to work out all of the kinks, but in the meantime, I have been telling people that just to be safe, I would either switch back to four or do everything in four and five because I do believe that you can copy and paste in between apps. So if you do something in four, just copy it into five or vice versa. I believe that's possible. Please let me know if you're having issues with that. I was able to do it um, and I've read about other people doing it, but just let me know. Um, so just for navigation and everything, I'm back at four, but I am also inserting these pages into five. So I just kind of wanted to go over some of the known bugs at the moment, um, and these are my notes, and they wouldn't be my notes if they weren't rainbow like this. So a lot of people are reporting issues with crashing. They just try to use the app. Some people it crashes instantly. They pretty much open it, and then it crashes instantly. Some people can use it for a second, and it crashes. Some people it just starts crashing randomly. They may be able to use it for an extended period, and then it crashes. Some people, it crashes when they try to insert a photo. It's just all kinds of different issues with that. I've noticed most of the people that are reporting crashing usually have like an older model iPad. Not necessarily an old iPad, but um, it's usually not the iPad Pro third generation. Um, but this app, regardless of that, needs to be able to work on all iPads that support the current operating system, which is iOS 12. So, you know, if your iPad supports iOS 12, but it's a little bit older, I'm sure they'll get it to a point where it's not gonna crash on you as much, or maybe you have an older iPad and you're not experiencing the bug where it's crashing. Um, but I have just noticed a lot of people that talk about crashing, they do say that they have like a little bit of an older model of an iPad. And they might even be talking about like an older model of an iPad Pro as well. It actually only crashed on me once, maybe a few days ago and it wasn't a big deal. I opened it right back up and went right back into using it and it didn't crash again. Um, so my major problem with GoodNotes 5 was the lag. It was a huge lag. Once you're used to four and you're pretty much spoiled by four and then you switch over to GoodNotes 5 and you have to wait for a few seconds for your pages to load, um, it's just extremely noticeable and it can get a little frustrating at times, especially when you're trying to film a video in my case or, you know, whatever. Um, even if you're not trying to film a video, that lag can be a little frustrating because it is a huge difference in between GoodNotes 4 and GoodNotes 5. So that is another bug. I don't even know if that's a bug. That might just be an issue that they need to work out, but um, you know, it's very, very noticeable. So another issue that I have seen people report is that their stickers disappear. So for people that use sticker books in GoodNotes and they just open their sticker book and then open their planner and then copy back and forth between their sticker book and their planner, um, which tons of people do that, a lot of people are reporting that their stickers disappear once they place them in their planner after they've copied them from their sticker book. They'll place them in their planner and they'll completely disappear. And the way that some people have been working around that is by pulling their stickers in from their images or from their Dropbox. So that is what you can do to work around that. But I know that that can be inconvenient to some people because that's a lot of files to browse through. In your sticker book, you just have them all right there. But in Dropbox, you know, for example, you have to browse through files upon files. For images, you have to browse through all these images. So um, that is one way you can work around it though. That's totally up to you. Um, so another major issue is that copying and pasting pages can possibly 
cause your links to mess up. Um, I have not had a problem with this in most of my planners because most of my planners don't link to templates. So if you just have a planner and it just links to monthly sections and that's all it does, like you don't use those monthly sections for anything else, your links should be totally fine. But if you have a planner and let's say like your planner provides a link to a blank page template and I have a planner that is called the Essential Planner that provides links to a budget template, it provides links to a shopping list template, all kinds of templates. And you copy and paste those templates to use in another part of your planner. Those links that you have that link to the templates, instead of linking to the templates after you do that, it's gonna link to your pasted page. So for example, if you are in the Essential Planner, you copy your budget template and move it into January, all of a sudden the link to your template is gonna take you to your budget page that you put in January rather than to your actual template page. So that is a major, major problem that some people are experiencing in their planners and I just really hope that they get that worked out soon because that is just a huge problem. Um, so I don't know, I know they're aware of this problem. I know multiple people have reported this problem. So hopefully that will be worked out soon. Another bug that I've seen reported is layering. Um, obviously GoodNotes doesn't have layers. GoodNotes 5, you know, didn't implement layers. But previously, um, if you wanted to layer one sticker on top of another sticker, but let's say you accidentally imported your the sticker that you wanted on top first, and then you imported the one that you wanted on bottom. Next, you could switch out which one was on top without having to delete one. So now, if you do that, there's no way to reverse the order. And actually, this was a bug that I experienced as well, but it didn't really affect me that much because I don't use sticker books or anything like that, and I don't um, really do anything in GoodNotes other than navigate my planner. I do everything else in Procreate, just like this whole page I did in Procreate. But that is a problem for people that do plan in GoodNotes. Okay, so I tested this out because this is a bug that I have seen reported a lot. So I brought in a coffee mug sticker and a sticky note sticker with the intention of putting the coffee mug sticker on top of the sticky note sticker. And so I brought in the coffee mug first because I knew to do it in reverse order because of how the problem kept being reported. So I did the coffee mug sticker first, then I did the sticky note sticker second. So then I deleted the coffee mug sticker because it wasn't letting me put it in front of the sticky note sticker. And then I brought the coffee mug sticker back in and it still wouldn't let me put it in front of the sticky note sticker. So I don't know what was up with that. I don't know if that problem is happening for everybody or if they're able to resolve it by importing their stickers in the correct order. I don't know, but that is one problem that I keep seeing reported. Another issue that I had with GoodNotes 5, another bug is moving text. So every now and then if I would type something using the text tool and then I wanted to lasso it and move it, it would leave behind little tiny pieces of text. And what I would have to do is delete the text and those little tiny pieces of text would still be there. And then I'd have to restart GoodNotes 5. And then I could usually go back to typing my text and moving it and it would be totally fine. But I had to do that a handful of times. So that is another bug. Another bug that I've seen reported is that people are not able to import pages. So if you have pages saved in Dropbox or something like that, um, it shows like it's grayed out and it's not going to let you import them. Um, I haven't experienced that issue in GoodNotes 5. I've had a customer that has experienced that issue with GoodNotes 5, but she's not experiencing that problem in GoodNotes 4. So I don't know how many people are experiencing that bug, but I know um, I've seen at least two or three other people report that as well in other digital planning groups. So I just wanted to film this quick video to let you guys know about all of the bugs. Um, this probably isn't even all of the bugs, but these are the main ones that I keep seeing reported. And I will film like an update video once I know that they get some of this stuff worked out. I'm gonna make sure I stay up to date with all of the GoodNotes updates so I can update, because um, I really can't wait to switch over to five. It's gonna be great 
once they get some of this stuff worked out. But in the meantime, I am back to four. And what I'm recommending for people that are new, because um, I've had a couple people that like just started digital planning, like maybe the day Good Notes 5 came out or the day after, and they've asked me what I think they should do. And the bundle is actually available for new users as well. It's like you buy both apps for the price of one. Um, so I just recommend buying the bundle and playing around on both. And, um, cause you're going to want to be familiar with five because that is going to be the standard once they get these bugs worked out. I'm not sure how much longer Good Notes 4 is going to be available. So you do want to get familiar with five. But in the meantime, um, you have four as a backup. So if you want to do everything in four, just in case you're having a lot of issues with five, that's what I recommend doing. And then just keep looking out for those updates. Keep watching out on my channel because I will release a video once they've released more updates on GoodNotes 5. Because like I've said so many times, it is a great app. They just need to get these little problems worked out. Um, so I hope that this video was helpful. And if you've been experiencing any of these problems, just know that you are not alone. Um, other people are experiencing and reporting these problems as well. All of these problems have been reported to Good Notes, so they are aware of these issues. Um, but it never hurts to report it yourself, too, because I'm sure the more people report it, the more they'll realize, you know, this is a bigger problem than maybe they think. I don't know what they think. I don't talk to the people at Good Notes, so I can't speak on their behalf. But I do know multiple people have reported these issues, but if they're happening to you, I still recommend contacting Good Notes Support and alerting them to these issues just, you know, so they can give you some kind of update and just so they're definitely, definitely aware that these issues are happening to multiple people. Um, feel free to contact me if you have any questions at all. I'm happy to help. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more digital planning tutorials and digital plan with me videos and check out my website naptimealt.com where there's tons of planner related freebies that you can download now.